Hey everybody, how's it going? B Temple back again, finally. it's uh, It's been a little while, but um, a very bad head cold kind of befell me, and uh, nobody really needs to hear me trying to uh, shoot a review when I sound horribly stuffed up. So, kind of took some time to uh, let everything sort of clear up, and now finally I have time to get back into a review. And what we have here today is, uh, I guess, probably one of, for me, one of the most exciting sort of reviews I think I've ever had um, for anything I've done so far. Um, what we have in front of us are four decades of the same exact Canadian IMP. Um, the biggest thing i got to say is thanks once again to Don Juan21 for a, uh, a great trade we did. One of my previous reviews, the... Uh, the Chicken Stew LRP came in the same trade with Don. But this was the big part of the trade. When he sort of showed me what he had. And he's like, I think we're not 100% sure on the year of this. But we could theoretically have exactly four decades of the same exact menu. The numbers aren't exactly the same. You know, number one, number two. But they're all beans and wieners, beans and wieners, beans and wieners, beans and wieners. Uh, these are all considered... Um, breakfast menus, although these also are breakfast and lunch. But what we've got in front of us is possibly uh, an IMP menu from the 80s. We know for sure this is from the 80s. I'm just not 100% sure what the year is. It's probably the late 80s, but we're not going to be able to tell until we open this up. Uh, and then obviously 97, and then 2007, and then 2017. So this particular video, all we're going to do for this one, I'm going to kind of have to break this up into three parts. I don't like making multi-part videos. But this one's going to be kind of fairly big, and I don't want to have to put up a, uh, you know, hour and 20 minute video, video all at once. So today will just be an unboxing and a comparison. Um, I've seen, obviously, and have many of the, you know, modern IMPs. I've seen a number of the, you know, early, mid, late 2000 IMPs. Very rarely have I ever seen one from the 90s. And never in my entire life have I actually seen an IMP from the 1980s. There's never been one reviewed, uh, as far as I know, and I don't think there's actually ever been one from the 90s ever reviewed as well. So it's going to be interesting to see historically what the progression was. I think I'm going to actually start at the newest ones and work backwards. These, as you can see, are all the same exact shape, just they changed the color of the, uh, the paper over time, and these should all have retort pouches. This particular ration here from the 80s should actually have canned mains and sides and whatnot. So it's going to be interesting to see what this looks like. I, I tried to do some research and I really couldn't find very much of anything online about what, you know, Canadian IMPs from the 1980s actually looked like inside. So this is going to be a total mystery. And obviously we won't know what's inside uh, when it comes to the age of it until we open up and hopefully we'll find some date codes. So uh, like I said, we're going to basically unbox all of these and sort of see what the progression is through time and, and Maybe see if uh, everything looks like it's going to be okay. What we'll probably do then is is um, maybe do a, a comparison review of trying out the 17, the 2017, and 2007 ones. And then do another review where I look at the 97 and the 80s one. Hopefully this will be 87. That would be great if this was an 87, but you never know what it could be. So I guess we're going to start with the 17 and then we'll work our way back. So we got our 2017 Beans and Wieners IMP. Like many people comment on these, they uh, they have that sort of bagged lunch kind of look to them, but it's, you know, a foil-lined paper. We'll just tear these open. Oh, well. I, uh, I was just commenting with someone a little while ago how in all my reviewing time and all the IMPs I've had, I've never actually had a soldier fuel bar, and then boom, one finally shows up. So we've got a peanut butter-flavored soldier fuel bar. It's like a, you know, energy protein bar. Got our main, obviously, beans and wieners, with the nutritional info if you want. Got our dessert, which is sliced peaches. Got our ever-popular Canadian beverage bag with the gusset at the bottom. Got our very large napkin and the new style Canadian IMP spoon. It looks more like a, a USMRE spoon, just longer and has the sort of spork tip. Two sports drinks, great. By 2017, Canadian IMPs go back to including 
two sports drinks for, uh, there was a, a period there between like say 2014 to 2016, they, they only started putting one in them. Uh, so it's nice to see them go back to two. Got an apple and brown sugar crunchy cereal. So remember this is a breakfast menu. Hamburger bun. To go with the hamburger bun, we've got a strawberry jam and peanut butter. Got an Escafé sweet and creamy, so a three-in-one coffee mix. Peck Frank's red hot sauce. Book of matches. Pack of Tic Tacs. And one of the embossed maple leaf Canadian compressed napkins. So just pour a little bit of water on that and it puffs up and you use it as a, almost like a moist towelette. So there you have it. This is what you'll find in a 2017 beans and wieners menu. So it's a, it looks to be fairly comprehensive. You're getting your soldier fuel bar and your beans and wieners main, your fruit, uh, you know, a form of bread, hamburger bun with its own sort of spreads. You've got your uh, breakfast cereal, you've got some drinks. So yeah. This is, uh, this is what you'll find in 2017. Next, let's have a look at what we got in 2007. All right, so we've got our beans and wieners in tomato sauce meal, which is considered breakfast and or lunch. Um, this is actually probably the oldest IMP I've ever had. Usually, I think up to this point, the oldest IMP I've ever had was probably from 2011 or 2012. So this is by far the oldest one so far, but as you know, we can tell, over off to the side, we've got uh, two that are much, much older. So it's going to be interesting now to see. This is kind of like uncharted territory for me. Uh, to see what the uh, the change in components really looks like over the span of, you know, 10 years and then another 10, another 10. But the same idea. You know, foil lined paper bag. That's what the contents inside looked like at first. The way the main meal looks is a little bit different, no nutritional info, it just says beans and wieners. And uh, this was actually packed in uh, 2006. We've got a packet of apple sauce as our, our fruit component. Then we've got our bread. And this is the time, period of time when the bread wasn't an actual hamburger bun, it was more of like a rectangular small little loaf of bread. No, I, I prefer these to the hamburger buns, I find the hamburger buns are a little dry. We've got a packet of strawberry crunchy cereal, type three. Then we've got a beverage powder mint hot chocolate mix, which still feels perfectly fine. Got a fruit beverage powder, pineapple, and this one does feel a little caked, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It doesn't appear to be leaking. So that's at least a good sign. We've got two coffee whiteners or tea whiteners. Two instant coffee, type one. To go with either the, the bread, I guess, or the, the cereal if you want. Uh, two packets of honey. So it's interesting you don't get sort of jam or peanut butter with this one. Two packets of sugar. And these are the same exact packets of sugar that we still get today. Packet of ketchup. Our large napkin and the old style Canadian spoon. And for 2007, these spoons are actually a fair bit sturdier. The... Um, the spoon itself seems to be a little bit smaller, but uh, the actual composition of the spoon is a lot sturdier than they they became in the sort of, you know, 2010 to 2015, 2016 kind of era. So yeah, that one actually looks pretty good. Moist towelette. Look at matches. Back in the day when the IMPs put toothpicks Actually got a packet of pepper and salt. Pepper is something I think that should be in every ration, but it certainly doesn't show up very often. And then I guess for after meal refreshment, you have a packet of chiclets gum. It looks like USMRE gum. And uh, Campino, I guess sort of like a cherry cream kind of hard candy. And lastly, a, a comment card, which I guess if you were a member of the Canadian Armed Forces. You can fill this out and give your views on all the particular items and send it back into the Department of National Defense. So that's it guys. So as you can see the the packaging is a lot different over the span of 10 years. Everything has that sort of white kind of kind of vibe to it. 
but a lot of the stuff is is fairly similar you know you're getting your cereal you're getting your bread you're getting your spreads um you know this one has a, a hot chocolate as a, as opposed to the other one so uh it seems like by getting the soldier fuel bar in the previous ration the, the 2017 one i don't know what the calorie content would be when it comes to everything being different because i have a feeling that the, uh, the soldier fuel bar adds a lot of calories and protein and fat to the uh, to the contents so i don't know where that's getting made up here but um you can see some similarities and uh, and some differences so that's a that's a 2007 beans and wieners imp aside from the, the pineapple drink everything feels like and seems like it's going to be uh, in great shape so i'll be i'll be trying this one out for sure next we're going to uh show the one from 1997 all right, next up, we've got ourselves a, uh, a menu one this time, breakfast slash lunch, beans and wieners from 1997. And this is where we're going to start to get into um, items that I've never seen before. And I, I don't know what the packaging is going to look like. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of commercial items in there or anything like that. So this is this is just completely outside the realm of what I, what I know. Um, one of the big changes, obviously, is that the... Outside paper is white instead of that sort of standard brown bag kind of look. So yeah, let's tear into it. From the outset, it doesn't look that different from the, the one from 2007. Box is fairly simple, like the previous one. So this is beans and wieners. Our dessert is sliced peaches. Once again, we've got our rectangular shaped shaped bread. And uh, aside from where it's desiccant packet, actually still feels pretty soft. Another cereal components, we got a maple brown sugar flavored oatmeal cereal, type one, and still feels perfectly fine. Got ourselves a hot chocolate mix, much like the one from uh, 2007. This one's just sort of, I guess, regular flavor. Then we've got uh, great beverage powder, so only one. So it's interesting that, I guess, further back you go, um, they actually only did, I guess, uh, have one beverage powder, and there was a period of time where they included two, and then they got rid of it again. But um, it's interesting. Got our big brown paper towel and a spoon, which is a lot more flexible than the one from 2007. So it's interesting how much the... Uh, you know how much the spoon changes over time. The paper towel itself actually feels a little bit softer as well. Got a packet of ketchup or catsup, depending on which way you want to turn it. This is interesting. I've never seen this in an IMP before. Two pouches of marmalade. This one doesn't feel too bad. This one feels a little bit harder, but I'm very interested to see how these actually taste. Next, we've got two instant coffees, two Carnation Coffee Mates. So these are a very standard sort of commercial product. Two packets of sugar, and this is a, a different company. So finally, we see something that's a little bit different when it comes to the sugar. So this is possibly what the one from the 80s might look like as well. But I guess we'll see. Book of Matches. A Werther's Original Candy. And there's something in here that has a, a very old... I'll put it like mothballs kind of kind of smell to it, you know, like back in the day if you were at your grandparents' house a long time ago. Um, I think it might be the Werther's original that's given off that smell, but we'll 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 see later. Got ourselves a moist towelette, which looks exactly like some of the other moist towelettes you find in IMPs today. So it's interesting that, you know, this goes back 20 years at least. Toothpick once again. Packet of salt and pepper, which is nice to see. Once again, we got our comment card. Same as the one from uh, 2007. And lastly, something that I wasn't expecting to find and something that is certainly a, uh, a huge piece of nostalgia. Got ourselves an old packet of Trident gum spearmint flavor. So, eight sticks of gum. When I opened up the, the pack, I immediately got a strong sort of mint smell. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe this is in there. So, you know, they give you a whole pack of gum. 
And uh, this has got that mix of the mothballs and the mints. So I don't know if those are good anymore or whatever, but they uh, they said they expired in July of 1997. So, uh, yeah, it's... Um, it's a little bit past expiry. So guys, what we have here is a, an IMP Beans and Wieners from uh, 1997. A lot of the components look fairly similar to what we saw in uh, 2007. And you get a lot of the same sort of composition, I guess. You get your, your main, your, your fruit and your bread and uh, your spread for your bread. This time marmalade, which I've never seen before. Uh, you get your ketchup to go with the Beans and Wieners if you want. You get a cereal, two coffees, whitener, sugar, all that kind of stuff. You get your hot chocolate, and your one beverage base powder. So, you know, it seems like they uh, they keep a fairly similar composition over time uh, for most of this stuff. And I guess from logistical purposes, that makes sense to, to keep things as, as steady as you possibly can. So, uh, this is really, really cool. What we got coming up next is obviously going to be the oldest one, the, the IMP from the 80s, which should look, possibly completely different inside because it's the older style with cans i assume uh, i could be very surprised i guess when we open it up but we'll see in a second and lastly we've got what i'm really excited about um like i said i've done some research on this and i i can't find anything about imps from the 1980s so i have absolutely zero idea what this is going to look like inside so remember beans and wieners and tomato sauce we also know what the fruit's going to be. It's going to be peaches. And hopefully everything's good inside. I don't see sort of any leaking happening. So uh, that should be a good sign. And it's once again a foil lined paper. And for this one, I'm going to actually try to cut it from the back and not ruin this a little bit because this will be uh, very good for display. So let's get this open a little bit more. Interestingly enough, it's uh, it's very compartmentalized, so uh, I don't really know what we're going to find here. The first big surprise, I was under the impression that these would be canned. So uh, by the 80s, or the late 80s, Canada would have been using retort pouches in their rations. I wasn't sure exactly the year that they made the switch over. And we can tell right now already that uh, this particular one was packed in 1989. So it's... Uh, it's not an 87, but I mean, it's fairly close. So we're still looking at, in general, a, a four decade shift in our rations here. We've got a packet of peaches. Random loose moist towelette. And then we just have a box, which I guess has the rest of the stuff in it. This is what it looks like inside. It's in silver, sort of metal type packaging. So we get our bread once again, and wow, it's still soft. I don't know what it's gonna look like inside when I open it, but uh, that's still in great shape. Then we've got just crunchy cereal type three. You, you can't get any more uh, generic than that. I don't know what the flavor is or anything, but uh, you're getting cereal once again. Getting a Constellation brand grape flavor drink crystal made by I guess Stang, Stang, Canada. So Dr. Acker was not the creator of uh, the drinks at this point. We actually have a Cadbury's Instant Hot Chocolate. So uh, I don't know exactly what year this was made, but obviously if um, the beans and wieners and the peaches were packed in uh, 1989, I'm gonna assume this is from 1989 as well. So yeah, I wasn't very old when uh, when this was packed, I think I may have been in kindergarten, so that's uh, that's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, they really like their sort of generic wording here. Individual one cup serving of instant coffee. So sort of like a type one instant coffee, I guess. And oddly enough, we have the sugars the same as the ones from 2017 and 2007. Got two whiteners and they're not um, sort of generic. I mean, they're not uh, commercial. There's sort of that generic look again. 
absolutely no change to the look of the ketchup between um, 1997 and 1989. And once again, you get two marmalade. See, I'm going to get to try it twice. And they seem just the same, even though there's a, what, an eight-year difference. Got a sort of a lighter colored kind of paper towel, and oddly enough, a short but wide mouth spoon. So I didn't know that IMPs had shorter spoons back in the day, but apparently these ones did. Got a different looking book of matches, kind of got a gray color to the outside. Salt and pepper, and you can actually get two packs of pepper with this one, so that's, uh, that's great. Toothpick once again. Got your comment card, which they still, you know, or I mean, not they still gave, but they, they were giving back then. It looks very similar to the ones that they still give, you know, over the span of the next 15, 20 years. Lastly, an actual pack of chiclets, like you would find in American rations at the time. And a dare chocolate mint, sort of like one of those kind of eclair hard candy with a, I'm going to assume a, a white mint outside and then a, you know, chocolate center. So yeah, this is what you're going to find in a Canadian IMP from the late 1980s. So this one's from 1989, so we, we couldn't get lucky and have it be from 1987. But we're, we're, we're pretty close. So as you can see, the composition doesn't change a whole lot over time. We have our, like I said, our main, our fruit, our bread, our cereal. You know, we get our spreads, marmalade, sometimes it's jam and peanut butter, sometimes it's honey. Get our coffee, and our sugar, and our whitener. Get a hot chocolate, one drink powder. You get ketchup in most of them. Only the brand new ones didn't have ketchup. They just put Frank's Red Hot Sauce in the newest ones. Maybe over time, soldiers begin to complain about, uh, you know, maybe flavor, I suppose. Ketchup wasn't giving enough extra flavor to the main, and they wanted something to sort of jazz it up a bit more. Who knows? Um... A few commercial products, like, say, the hot chocolate, which is actually a Cadbury's product. Now, I don't know what the ingredients are. Let me see. Sugar, skim milk powder. So, yeah, skim milk powder from 1989. That's probably not going to be very good. Um, and the problem is, if it's gotten darker, it's going to be hard to tell because it's going to be hot chocolate. Not like if it was just a, a packet of skim milk powder. So, yeah, guys. Everything, for the most part, seems like it's very good. Oddly enough, this one doesn't have that strange sort of mothballs kind of uh, smell to it. So I don't know if I was getting that because of the Werther's candy and the, uh, and the commercial package of gum was causing that. But I guess we'll find out when it comes time to uh, actually review these things. So like I said, um, the next part's going to be a review of the, the two most recent rations, just to see what sort of taste differences are like and quality and whatnot. And then obviously the last part is going to be looking at the one from 1997 and this one. And uh, those two should be interesting to see if anything's actually still edible. Um, to sort of show what, you know, what food science is like and, and how things can actually last if they're stored well. Uh, whoever had these before Don Juan 21 had them uh, must have kept, I guess, good care of them. You know, nothing's leaking. Nothing appears to be like, you know, puffy and bloated or anything like that. Everything looks like it's in just absolutely amazing shape. So, guys, this has been an unboxing of four decades of uh, Canadian IMPs, all the way from 2017 back to the 1980s. And uh, it's been really interesting to finally get a look at some of these things. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first time this particular ration, especially this, from this age, has been reviewed online. So it'll be a great uh, sort of historical time capsule. That'll be uh, saved forever now, I guess, so everyone, if they want to be able to look at, you know, what a 1980s IMP looked like, they'll be able to track this down and actually see. So everyone, we're going to we're gonna call that it. Um, going to eventually, if I can, if I get the time, move on to uh, do the actual reviews of these rations uh, as quick as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, it should be very interesting. I'm looking forward to, to seeing how these turn out, I guess. Uh... Like I usually say, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by and have a good one.